Hey and welcome to the post apocalyptic Garage. At first I want to thank you for all of the really really good comments on YouTube and on Facebook. You're really awesome guys. You really gave me the encouragement I need right now and I definitely will continue to make videos. There will be a Patreon account in the next couple of weeks and also the post apocalyptic shop will go online in the next two weeks. So enough of that for now. Maybe you have noticed the Austrian flag in the background. Today we're filming on 26th of October. It's our national holidays here in Austria. It's comparable to the 4th of July in the USA. And I will give a little bit of knowledge of this day to mainly my Austrian audience. Most of you learned in school that 26th of October was the day where the last American soldier from the occupation forces of Austria left Austria on this day and that's the reason why it's our national holiday. But actually that's not really the truth. The last soldier of the occupation forces was indeed an American soldier and he have left Austria at the 25th of October. On 26th of October, our national holiday today, the Austrian parliament declared the everlasting neutrality of Austria. Yesterday I spent a little time on the internet searching for new stuff and new inventions and I tripled over a video from Tau Fledermaus in which he demonstrated a tripwire perimeter alarm of sorts which you can use to defend your camp in the woods for example against intruders, against bears or other kinds of threats. It's not the kind of alarm which necessarily hurts the intruders or the animals in your camp but it definitely will get your attention. Basically all there is to it, it's a little kind of device where you put a 12 gauge shotgun shell in it. Preferably you can use blanks, but you can also put in a life round. It will not apply deadly force to the intruder, but it definitely will scare them. When the intruder triggers the tripwire, a little pin gets pulled out and that will set off the shotgun shell. It makes a loud boom and you will definitely know that someone is there. There are various models on the market right now. Most of them are for sale for about 30 to 80 dollars. And I think we can make it a lot cheaper. So for my version of the perimeter alarm system, I searched for the following parts. I've searched for a big nut like this and I have a tip for you. Never go to the hardware store and ask for a nut where a 12 gauge shotgun shell fits in like this. They will look at you like you're some kind of crazy bastard or something and it will definitely get you on some kind of watch list. But I found one and the 12 gauge shell fits relatively perfect in there. So we are going with that one. Next thing you need is some kind of bolt and nut like this. And it's not really important uh, what dimensions your bolt have. It just has to be big enough to fit a spring like this inside. You may be asking yourself where to get such a little spring like this one. And the cheapest and easiest way is from a toy gun like this. In addition to that, we just need some kind of washer, a relatively big nail and some kind of little nut which fits over the nail like this.
so now we've got a hole all the way through the screw and I have to tell you one thing the best way to do this will be on a lathe where the workpiece is spinning and the tool is steady so you can get a much more centered hole in there unfortunately I don't have a lathe so I just tried to center it as good as possible and it's really important to get the hole as close as possible to the center but it don't matters too much when it's a little bit off center Okay, so as you have noticed, we were not drilling the second hole all the way through because we need a backstop for a spring. The diameter of the two holes are not really important. You just have to be sure that the smaller hole is big enough to fit your nail. The bigger hole has to be wide enough to fit the spring inside and also it has to be big enough to fit the spring retainer, which we are welding on the nail now. So guys, it looks like I have to correct myself. I've just blown the last fuse on my welder. So we are going to dry a little bit of soft solder and I'll trust a little blowtorch here. Okay, so it looks like our little firing pin mechanism is ready right now. So now we just have to file the tip in the shape of kind of the firing pin you find in the rifle. And then we will see if our concept is working. Okay, so now for the tricky part, we have to get a little bitty tiny hole in the nail, which will serve us both as a hole for the safety pin and also for the pin for the trigger mechanism. Okay, to be honest with you, I actually can't believe that this has worked out so great. As you can see, now you can pull the firing pin all the way to the back and you can put in your safety pin here. So right now it looks like everything has gone great so far. So we are going to assemble it and then we are going to test it. For testing it we use just this 12 gauge primer cut off from a shotgun shell and it should be plenty loud enough to see if our contraption is working. As you can see we have now attached this little piece of wire here to the safety pin. This will later become a trip wire of sorts. Now we are just going to put it by hand to see if the contraption is working. It should be very safe right now because first it's just the primer and the whole metal part here is facing to me, so the shell is facing in the direction of you guys, of the camera. No one is behind the camera right now, so let's see if this is working. As far as I can see, worked out pretty good. In my view, just the primer here was loud enough to alert you in case of any intruder is coming near your camp. So now we are going to set it up at its intended place and I'm sure it will work pretty good for us. 
So in case you're asking yourself what else can you put in there, basically everything which is in the 12 gauge shotgun shell. So I just use the primer because everything else like putting a life round in there or like attaching a barrel to it will be highly illegal here in Austria. To see some of the options you can check out Tau Fledermaus' video on this kind of device. I will leave a link for you in the description. So that was it for today. I hope you liked this little build video. All what's left for you to do now is scroll down, please hit the like button, leave us a comment. We are also on Facebook and Instagram, so check us out there. All links in the description of this video. I really enjoy making videos again. Have a nice evening guys and we'll see you next time. Sweetie, I have some chocolate for you on the forge. <laughs> this is not funny. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe to our channel. We will get out build videos like this every week. And if you have already subscribed to our channel, be sure to click on the bell so you get informed when we are uploading a new video. But that's all for now. Goodbye, guys.